we open on a world that has been overtaken by alien librarians attacking anything that makes noise. The Abbott family, consisting of Bo, Marcus, Regan, and Hollywood power couple Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, adapted to survive in this new battlefield, but forgot to teach Bo the sound of silence. Evelyn and Lee begin incubating a replacement for their lost son, as the horrors of having only two kids outweighs the risks of a noisy childbirth. Regan, who is deaf, is ungrateful of the hearing aids Lee makes for her, unaware of their true powers. Lee and Marcus go out and play the penis game behind a waterfall. Penis. PENIS! PENIS! This dude wins. Regan leaves for a little pilgrimage of her own. Back at home, Evelyn's day takes a turn for the worst when her water breaks, and then she steps on an exposed nail but somehow manages not to scream. However, she drops a picture frame, which attracts the beast. She flicks on the warning lights and runs to the tub as to not get baby juice on her nice floors. Lee sees the lights and orders Marcus to set off fireworks to distract the aliens. He does it! Pew 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 pew! Marcus, now dripping in success, runs back, but not before taking a noisy victory lap in the cornfield and running head on into a tractor. Regan returns, still not aware of her hearing aid super abilities, finds Marcus chillin' and invites him for a swim in the grain silo. An alien wants to join the party and they start a game of Marco Polo. Regan's cochlear implant superpowers again go unnoticed. Regan and Marcus get to a pickup truck and Lee arrives to tame the rowdy beast. Unfortunately, Lee sacrifices himself. Regan and Marcus joyride back to the house to find Evelyn. Regan finally understands her purpose and uses her hearing aids for good. Evelyn, now turning into a badass mother, headshots the alien with a shotgun and invites Moore to feel her steel. All in all, good movie. If you're into blind aliens and Jim Halpert with a beard, then this one's for you.